there are two areas how black people are seen to the world and how black people are seen to other black people and I do think that if you have a mixed couple right I do think that it's a pretty good idea for that parent or for either parent as much as they have knowledge of to try to give a real world view of potential dangers in the world for you being a black person. Here's one of my issues is that so think about the language that we use. We use black. We use light skin. We use half black. Mulatto. Like one eighth, one fourth, one eighth. You know, his his daddy, his mama white, his daddy white. There are so many hurdles, lines, qualifications that we black people use to qualify other black people. And I'm again, I'm not saying that this is right, but I can easily understand how a parent would leave that out because you shouldn't have to qualify to be black if you are black, whether you half black or one fourth black or you got a cousin that was black and you know, you know what whatever percentage of Negro blood you may have <laughs> that should be enough let me, let me paint another picture okay so let's take and I, I said we weren't going to talk about famous people let's talk about some famous people let's talk about like we're going to put Ice Cube Barack Obama Alfonso Rivera is any of these people more black than the other No, they're all. No. I mean, no, no. Yes. Not by ethnicity. Okay, so not, that's not a quick, by ethnicity. <laughs> that, that's a quick answer. But if they weren't famous, and they walked down the street, would they get the same treatment by other black people? Yes. Why not? You. Come on. Okay, so you're saying right, that. Right. And, you, you, and you're saying after I've heard them talk now, so so I will say this. I will say this. You right. know, after a, a, after a conversation, walking down the street, uh, in in the store, cross over here, a quick nod. You know, they gonna get that same same consideration from me. What's up? Oh, that that's all I'm gonna do. So I'm not talking about from you personally. Right. I know what you you say <laughs> just in general the perception. But I don't I don't know if the perception changes just because Barack would be in a suit, you know, Alfonso would well, I mean Alfonso's I, I feel like Alfonso's perception would definitely be changed if, if we saw the uh the uh Fresh Prince uh version of him. <laughs> you know, he's gonna have a cardigan on and look you know, be looking like Chad you know, just off you look some people might be like oh but then they, they still you can't say that because he's still just a letterman it just means he's an educated black man we don't know until you start talking to him i think uh, he's gonna lose swag points for being alfonso rivera <laughs> he is but and he's I mean, also gonna lose swag point because if 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 um he's if he's anything like carlton banks then yeah people are gonna be like this dude's a square like, and don't we, get me started on Barack Obama. We've all exactly. seen Alfonso Rivera. Like, it's not like he's a new person. Right. Like, if 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 a person, if that guy in that body with that personality, shows up in quote unquote the hood, he's going to get clowned. Right. Absolutely. But by, by his by technically his own people. Yep. Okay. I I, I can agree with that. Yeah. Barack and, Obama. And Barack Obama people are going to dismiss him simply because he's half black. He's exactly. half black. I mean, when he shows people up in the will. hood in a suit, people I would think he was a Muslim. I would have probably thought he was a, uh, just a light-skinned Muslim. I, I really would. When he showed up in the hood with a suit and the education, I would have thought Muslim right off. You, you right got to right understand something. I, I, 
people you have to show the left hand the jumper before you know people give me the respect <laughs> right but Lord, I, have mercy. Uh, true but... I, 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 I have an associate he's black <laughs> his wife is cuban they were having an intense moment of discussion i.e an argument and a policeman saw this and pulled him over this is in mississippi by the way mm-hmm. just to give it a little color um the the cop walked over to her side and said ma'am is everything okay now she's a lighter skinned cuban woman to him she's white he sees a, a a black man and a white man in a car and and they're vehemently arguing and disagreeing so he figures this white woman is in danger i gotta save him, save her from this black guy you know she's not black she's not white well she's she's not black she's not white either and she'll tell you i'm not white <laughs> But they were treating her like that simply because she has fair skin. And Barack Obama, if if he was a president, it's like Tony said, until he he'll forever be, oh, he's a half white boy. But he got hops. <laughs> that's how okay. it is. Okay. I, I, I get the 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 point that, you know, the swag point conversation, but I was just kind of curious where that was going. Like okay so we see these we see alfonso ribeiro we see barack obama in the hood and snap uh, assessment yeah they definitely look out of place and we're going to question their role in this environment but can i try to tie a bow on it for you Okay. Okay. So this whole conversation revolves around what should a parent be be imbuing into their child? How much blackness, how much culture, how much, you know, information of being black should they imbue into the child? And I think what a lot of black people feel is like you need to teach them culture. Like you need to teach them, you need to teach them how to handle themselves at a cookout, how to play spades, you know, blah 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 blah. All these things that qualify them to being black what if this parent feels you know what f that i feel like i shouldn't have to qualify me or my child to be black simply because they have black skin and black blood they are black enough right now i'm not saying that they shouldn't teach them you know the roadblocks of what's happening out there in the world like hey when you get stopped by, you know, a police officer that it may not be the same color as you or a police officer, period, you know, watch out for this. This is your history. This is how you got here. But when it comes to your personality, the way that you act, the way that you behave, the way that you talk to people, the way that you interact with people, you don't have to curve any of that to be black. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to do that. And the, what, sometimes some of the best ways to teach that is to not teach all of these lines and things you got to cross to be black. That's that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes is easier. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Like if you've never experienced those things, like if you if a child has never experienced trying to navigate the black culture and trying to fit in and try and failing to fit in maybe you don't teach them any of the rules so that they grow up with no rules you see what i'm saying so that they grow up so they grow up with an open mind like i don't have to i'm i'm good already i'm accepted already i'm enough already 